Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now today, or rather this month with the Curious Piano Teachers, you, we're going to be looking at the journeys that we've all taken as teachers, as children, as early musicians, as, as we get older, uh, becoming teachers, the journeys that we've taken to being in this point right now. And it was interesting because Sharon and I were chatting away last week when I was over with her and we were talking about our early experiences of having piano lessons and although I can't remember the content very much and of, of the actual lesson um, I can remember and so could she the room that we had our lessons in and um, I had a lovely piano teacher and she had a, a, a grand piano and it was in a bay window and she had a, a piano bench it was a duet bench and I just remember being very warm and comfortable there I think that's really um, quite telling that I can remember the environment even if I can't rem and the feeling that gave me even if I can't remember the actual content of the lesson so this also reminded me of a young pupil of mine who had to leave to go to another school um, at the end of last summer and she sent me a card and in the card she said Dear Sally, I love coming to my piano lessons because your house always smells so nice, <laughs> which wasn't quite what I was expecting. But it was lovely to hear that she comes and she obviously feels comfortable. And I do make an effort to make sure that my house smells nice. And I nearly always have, you can probably see back here, I nearly always have a candle burning like this, at least for a couple of hours um, as, as I teach and then it will get blown out. So really today it's to encourage us all to think about the environment that we give our lessons in and thinking about this fact that actually that's probably 20 years down the line what people will remember about their lessons. They will probably remember you uh, but they probably won't remember the content in particular of their lessons but they will remember how you made them feel and how the room and the environment made them feel. So just have a look around your own teaching studio and think is this a comfortable environment for my pupils to be in are they happy maybe you get to ask them maybe you can do a little questionnaire and see, and see what they like about your room i mean for example i know that my pupils they clearly like the smell um, they also like uh, the bookcases that i've got here so i've got lots of books and um, lots of music as well it's all to hand and I, I, I think they really like that. I'm not the tidiest of people, as you can probably see, I'm a bit messy. But um, I don't think that really matters. It's, it is the warmth, I think, that comes out. Let me just show you a little bit more about my, my room. I'll give you a little guided tour. So you can see here that, yep, those are all my book cupboards going on there. Yep. And I've got tissues up there just in case we have an emergency. And then if I swing around here, you can see, yes, I've got some tulips there. Oh, look, he's the latest addition to my uh, toys is a Beethoven duck. Just what you need. And in the background, yes, I do like ducks because this is Phoebe standing there, the wooden duck in the background. And then if I swing around a bit more, you can see I have a fabulous um, hand drawn uh, hand drawing of Beethoven and this was actually done by my husband when he was an art student and this is Beethoven trying to concentrate so it's beautiful when you've got um, beginners who are learning Ode to Joy and you can link it in with that and then this is sort of where I do my bit of preparation and stuff so let me just swing back round here and see if I can put it in the back in the same place that's a little that's a little tour if you like of of my teaching studio um, as I said have a look around yours, have a think about what can I do to improve it. Not everybody teaches in a home environment like I do. Um, some people might teach in a school. What could you do if you're given a little narrow cupboard basically to teach in? What could you do to make it a friendlier place? Somewhere that pupils really want to come to see you. We've all got little ideas I'm sure that we could share. If you've got some, just, just pop them below. What do you do to make your teaching environment a really friendly, welcoming and warm one? And somewhere that your pupils all feel comfortable because they need to be comfortable in order to learn. OK, that's it for today. Do join me next week when I'll be back for more Tuesday teaching tips. Or come, do follow us on Facebook or pop over to our YouTube channel where you can see lots more Tuesday teaching tips. OK, happy teaching. Bye for now.